volleyball today from the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln. It's a Big Ten matinee on a Sunday afternoon as the Fighting Illini travel to take on the unbeaten and number one ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. And hello again, everyone, along with former Husker Kathy Wieskamp. I'm Larry Putney. Great to have you with us back inside here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. Illinois, a team that is on fire as of late. They're 7-1 and one in their last eight. This is a dangerous team coming into Lincoln. Absolutely. They've been working hard all season and kind of gotten over that hump and now are playing really consistent and strong. Somebody you know you will see today is Raina Terry because she gets 90% of their swings. <laughs> Raina Terry is outstanding. She's a sixth rotation player, and as you mentioned, she gets actually 39, I did the math, percent of the swings. And the thing that's remarkable is her effectiveness. She is averaging 4.58 kills percent. That's number two in the Big Ten, number nine in the nation. She is a player Nebraska will key in on and try to control and limit her impact. There was a focused effort on Nebraska's part last time out to feed the middles, and Becca Alec responded. Becca Alec worked hard in the middle, making herself eligible, getting up. She had 11 kills in the match against Northwestern on Wednesday night. But what stands out, too, is her blocking. She's continued to improve with the blocking. She's gotten aggressive up the net, but she's been intentional with the blocking, watching the hitters and making adjustments, and she's fun to watch. Every match in the Big Ten Conference can be tricky. Just ask the Badgers from last night. Huskers trying to stay undefeated and the only undefeated team in the country as they take on the Fighting Alliance. Well, last night in State College, it was Wisconsin and Penn State. And Penn State blew a lead in set one. You thought, okay, here we go. Wisconsin's going to roll. Nittany Lions stood strong and won sets two, three, and four. And Penn State here on match point with the ace takes down number two, Wisconsin. And Penn State, the 15th ranked. Nittany Lions with a big win at home over the Badgers, and that puts Nebraska, as they were before, alone in first place, but now with a two-game lead over Wisconsin. This can be one of the few remaining real tests that Nebraska has before going on the road to face the Badgers. Absolutely, and every night counts, you know, and you've got to be ready, and so don't count anybody out. It's time to be big and play your best. Nebraska head coach John Cook, best start since 2005 for his Husker teams in his 24th year overall on the bench. Take a look at the starting lineups for the Huskers. Still out of the lineup is Lindsey Krause wearing the boot on the sideline once again. Very familiar starting lineup for the Huskers. Morgan Riley will start it off for Nebraska. She'll run the show. Huskers will open up in rotation one with Riley at the service line. Here on a Sunday afternoon, another packed house at the Devante Center. If you're trying to get tickets ahead of time, you may be looking on you know, the various third-party sites to pick up tickets. They're like 100 bucks a piece <laughs> to get extra tickets in this every match this year. Sold out and in high demand here in Lincoln. The hottest ticket in the state. There's no doubt. <laughs> A couple of out-of-system swings for Nebraska. Randy Terry with the tip, but right at Riley. Puts Nebraska out of system. Here's Beeson. And Merrick Beeson opens up the scoring for Nebraska. Beeson has just been so tough as of late and just leading this team off as offensively. She reads the situation so well. She's calm, she's poised, and she gets it done. First outside, Raina Terry. Goes right at Lexi Rodriguez. Never a good idea. Here's Harper Murray, and that swing is wide point for the Fighting Illini. As we mentioned in the open, Terry will get lots and lots and lots of swings here for this Illinois team. But she's so effective out there. You're going to see her in the front row, back row. She's a com competitor and, and knows what area she needs to go to to get things done. Right back to Harper Murray, who tips just over the hands of Raina Terry and Kennedy Collins. Great control of the ball. Defense is deep down that line. The blockers are going up for that big swing. You can really see there, too, that push by Terry to go up high and hard, um, knowing that Murray tends to swing pretty aggressively. Great early um, changeup. That's pulled back in. Rick Mosier sets behind her. 
And they run the middle. Becca Alec picks up where she left off after that Northwestern match on Wednesday. And Becca Alec and Andy Jackson are really working hard, even in those medium systems, you might say, where the setter is pulled off the net, but not, you know, somebody else having to step in, to finding a way to get up and be open and be an eligible attacker. It's only going to help the team in the long run. And the ace for Harper Murray. And for someone who struggled early in the year with serving, Harper Murray has really come on. That is her 22nd ace of the season. And she's one of those players that's really driving that ball. It's got to be a balance, though, and she's working to get a little bit more imbalance now with that risk-reward. Ties Merritt Beeson for the team lead with aces on the season. Feet in the middle. Great up by Rodriguez off the tip from Collins. Becca Alec. And Nebraska off to the quick start for... Oh, run for the Huskers. Al Alec up there big, but the key here is in this middle of the court, that was very vulnerable. Um, Nebraska was struggling with that on Wednesday night and a couple other matches. And so being ready to get that ball out of that donut area and then transition like that, that's a great play for Nebraska. Another tough serve. Run the middle again, and that time Kennedy Collins, who hits 360 on the year, gets the kill. Kennedy Collins is tough up there. She's a graduate senior, so she has experience at the net. She makes smart decisions here. She reads the block and turns it back across and hits it again toward the right side where the setters are. Vanessa Pan now back to serve. She's the transfer from Columbia in her graduate year. Beeson, no touch, and that is just wide. Trying to hit around the block, just missing her mark there. Big block set up, too, so you got to work and see how you can find a spot to hit or something, how you can use that block. In system, Nebraska runs Alec in the middle again, and Becca Alec, three swings, three kills here early on. I love um, that Riley is really trying to get her, again, active and in the mix, but great pass there by Harper Murray. Put it right on the dime, gave, gave Riley all options. Just off the tape. Out it goes to Barrett, Barrett Beeson. That's not down. Raina Terry dug by Rodriguez, and what a pass. Overpass. Batenhorst not down. Push it right back out to Batenhorst again off the top of the block. Pan brings it back in. Two touches called on the Illini Point, Nebraska. Wow, both, both teams swinging big and making some great plays on the ball. Um, Rodriguez a big dig, but Illinois great ball that um, bait and horse hit off the hands out of bounds just stayed uh, pan stayed right in there and chased it down. Serve is long from Rodriguez. Here's Raina Terry now to serve. Into the net, called on the Illini, and back-to-back -back errors on the Illini. But I'm just really noticing the passing of Harper Murray. She is dialed in. They're really um, passing her, pushing her, but she's very focused with her platform, giving great balls to Riley. To put right in the square, right where you want it. Mm. Oh, good push. Oh, that was a great push by Mosier after the pin, trying to get it to Nunji, but Nunji's swing is wide. I think Mosier is outstanding. Uh, just a sophomore stepping in that setter role and really doing a, a fantastic job running this offense, and I think she's been a key, too, um, to the success that they've seen as of late, getting kind of comfortable and getting her team in good, good position. Mosier, Wisconsin native out of Waterloo, Wisconsin. On the slide, here's Jackson, so hard to stop. Just a great job there, combination, taking that ball and pushing it behind. Look at that space. Huskers off to the quick start here at home. To open. They introduced her before the match tonight. Congratulations, Mary, on a terrific career. She's our R1 tonight. Or this afternoon. Go, go, go. 
He closed off the top of the block. That one off the hands of Collins for the kill. 4-0 Nebraska run. You mentioned this urgency and just this great play of Nebraska. They have come out and are strong. They're hitting 429 to hitting zero for Illinois. Just really controlling it. Illinois is getting offense off, but Nebraska's playing great defense and finishing it up with that kill. Off serve there by Beeson, who forces the overpass. Great coverage by Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Wow, great job by Batehorst looking at what was in front of her and swiping it off the block. And that's one of the things Nebraska's really been keen on, seeing what's in front of them, not hitting with a preconceived idea, seeing what's there. She was tight, the blocker's there, and she jams it in their hands and throws it out of bounds. Just a great play on a ball that uh, could have been one that she swung hard and buried it right back into the block. Just smart decision. Nebraska just at 12 points, but already on a 4-0 run. And now a 6-0 Defense is leading to offense. Um, they're really ball handling um, very well, and Nebraska's attackers are making great shots and being very productive. And a service error. Kennedy Collins now back to serve for the Illini. She has 23 aces on the year. There are three members of this Illini squad that have over 20 aces on the year. Tough serving team. Definitely a tough serving team and been real intentional about improving that and making that a focus for them this season. Back row, Raina Terry is long and wide. To the match now, Lady Chilboy. She will serve for the Huskers. Closure runs the quick middle. Andy Jackson is there to shut down the swing from Bowe. Jackson did a tremendous job looking at the hitters. You're watching her eyes as she was watching the setter where she set, and then again turning and focusing on that hitter, closing that up. Illinois likes to go in that gap, so both um, blockers have to move. Both of them got their hands right in there and sealed it up. Pushes back to Terry again, and that time, Raina Terry gets the kill. And a big one. This is Raina Terry's senior year, but she has one year left. So much speculation in and around Champaign is what is Raina Terry going to do <laughs> yep. next year? Is she going to come back? For her? She has always said she's going to play another year. What she hasn't said, is she coming back to Champaign or is she going to enter the portal? Everybody wants to know. <laughs> I mean, and she's an outstanding player. Um, but I'm sure she'll have lots of opportunities if she chooses to get into that portal. Swing wide there by Murray. As Mosier now goes back to serve. Mosier, you'll see a jump serve here that she just put in this year. Started jump serving before the Wisconsin match. Top spin jump, and boy, that. And it leads to the point, puts Nebraska out of system, and you can mm -hmm. charge that point to the great serve of Brooke Mosier. And, and it's just a different look. You know, if you have the service line, can keep giving the opponent different types of balls, and that's a different look on the ball. It's tough to handle if you're not moving your feet. So there is a risk-reward there, but she's come out and made a big difference with that. Time out of the floor, we'll take one as well. Huskers on top by seven here in the first. Five. Wow. Amazing. Well, and I remember when she was pregnant. Yeah. With, it would have been the seven-year-old probably yeah. <laughs> um, when she was here, so. Double called on Nebraska there, so out of the timeout. And part of what that spin does as well. Tough to handle mm -hmm. even on the second touch with that much spin. Good. Good run here for Brooke Bozier from the service line. And the ace for Bozier. That is a, yeah. It's not something she just learned. She obviously had that before right. coming to Illinois, but she just re-implemented it this year. It was one of those things that they kind of recruited her because of that piece that she brought in, but changed one way, and wow, they brought it back, and it's been very productive and positive there, but overpass. Oh, another point. 
Nope, check that. It was a block for Nebraska and a point for the Huskers. So Nebraska gets out of the dangerous Brooke rotation. Yep, just kind of some relief there and, and great job just getting the hand on that ball. It's Brooke and Riley. Yeah. Huskers new middle blocker. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Smallest blocker at the net. Steps in and just reads it. Kennedy Orr now to serve. Kept it up, pushed outside. Harper Murray goes off the block, and Harper Murray with the kill. Great decision there. Murray has had a couple errors here, but takes a little bit off, finds that block, uses their hands. Just a good adjustment. Serve. Yeah, great serve. Outside, swing there by Burbage, not down. Back row, Beeson on the line. Beeson with the kill. And in, the, in this situation, Nebraska has two hitters in the front row only, so Beeson uh, is that extra attack. She's been so tough with that, hitting the edges of the court. Just a great weapon. Nebraska rolling right now on top 18-10 here in set number one. Huskers with the lead. Here's Harper Murray. Harper Murray with two kills on six swings here in set one. Riding a line I led offensively by Brooke Mosier. You know where she also, Brooke Mosier also leads the fighting a line I is in the kitchen because she is a fantastic chef and baker. And, you know, as part of their deal deal, all of these fighting line that live in the same dorm together. And he, this is some of the sampling of what Brooke Mosier has made for her teammates all living together. I bet that was from all. Uh, yep. The hidden talents and behind the scenes. Look at those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, oh, are those are just calling uh, my name, I think. You know, that's fun. And, man, I'd want to be her roommate, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and reap the benefits of having her as that gourmet cook <laughs> or baker. There she is, Brooke Mosier. Like, you know, we heard the story that even on the road, they'll run out and they'll find a local Trader Joe's and they buy the, what's it called? It, it, cookie butter. Cookie butter. And she makes these special little, <laughs> uh, like, cookie butter chips to make this special recipe of cookies. So, I mean, she's serious. Yeah. And obviously, we got to see some type quality. I think we should request a sample. Yeah, not a bad idea. <laughs> not a bad idea. She's a smart cookie, too. She's <laughs> biomechanical, human nutrition major. Eighteen ten here in the first. Bungie with the swing. Cowboy great pass. Mm -hmm. Harper Murray explodes on it. Off the block and sit back. Oh. Got a hand on that, but oh. can't keep it alive. Great high hand shot. Blockers were there. And the block did exactly what they needed to slow that down but just too far out of reach for them to control it on the Illinois side. Becca Murray just keeps working hard in, in that offense, trying to get involved. Burbage again. Goes right at Lady Choboy. Good kill by Burbage. Just what they needed to stop that run there with Kennedy Orr at the service line. This first set has been really a set of runs. Nebraska had a 4-0 run, a 6-0 run, a 4-0 run, and Illinois had that great 5-0 run on the serve of Mosier. So lots of runs happening through this set number one. Out of system, out to Murray, the tip. Mosier takes the first touch. Brandon Terry got the touch and the kill. Terry finding the fingers there. She's a veteran. She knows how to, what she's looking for and what she's doing. She also has that smaller blocker up there um, and utilizing that and keyed in on that as well. Jessica Nungy serving. Back to back tough serves and mm -hmm. put Nebraska out of system. Oh, 
Earl Beeson on the bit. Knocked down and goes off the dig and out. A point for the fighting line. Bohm did a nice job there staying with that. You got to be patient when that back row attack comes. You got to wait a little bit longer. She did a great job lining up and taking it away. Three straight. Another run here. Ty Murray went high hands, but a great one handed up there. Excellent. Uh, Barnes. Straight up by BC. And finally, Nebraska closes it on the back of Alec Kill. It's, Alec is five for five. Yeah, it's just fun to see the middle getting involved in the offense. And Alec has been so efficient with it, as you mentioned. Five for five, perfect. She is perfect on today's match. Huskers the first to 20. They're hitting 281 in this first set. The Illini right at zero. Tough one there. Moser chases it down. Bump set out to Terry. Right on the block. Just so tough for Terry in that situation. Yep. Blockers already knew they could release, set up strong, um, and waiting for her. Really just taking the angle away. Chris Thomas calls Rain and Terry one of the best take out the trash hitters <laughs> in the nation. Just because she gets so many out of system balls. And why wouldn't you throw it up to her with that kind of power? Another ace for Nebraska. Absolutely, she's outstanding out there. <laughs> I love take out the trash because she gets a lot of that. But her, she's just smart, and I think part of that is her vision. She sees what's in front of her and then makes a decision accordingly. Get the junk and put it away. That's mm -hmm. dirty behind. Take out the trash. Here's Beeson. Look, there, Beeson with another kill. Nebraska two away from set one. Great job finding the middle of the court. The defense is there, but they're all converging in. They got to talk and communicate, and it really kind of jams things up there, causes problems. Terry's swing is wide, and we've got set point here in the first at the Bob Devaney Sports Center as to their feet here in Lincoln. Terry with a great shot cross court, just inside the side. Of that's why they can count on her, and that's why she gets those balls. Block not quite there. She sees that, rips it through the seam. Caroline Barnes now back to serve. Set point number two for Nebraska. And Alec, the perfect six for six in set number one, and Nebraska wins it 25-14. In route to a win today over Kentucky. The top five might look a little bit different. I'd be surprised, though, if the Badgers fall below number two. Right. I, I don't There'll be some changes, but not a, a lot there. I mean, I, I think, and that's the thing right now. We are at a critical point, you know, in the season. But things happen. I mean, any night, anything can yeah. happen. And so it really talks about what are you doing with your team to keep them fresh, to keep them focused, to keep them getting better, not just getting through you know, Gritton and, and getting through. So it'll be interesting. And I think we've got some great ones the following week, that week of Thanksgiving, to yeah. some matches. You think so? Then? Yep, that might well, be interesting. Be an interesting matchup. Keep an eye on it. <laughs> Keep an eye on it. Swing is wide. Along with Kathy Wieskamp, I'm Larry Putney. Good to have you with us here in Lincoln for a Sunday matinee of Big Ten Volleyball between Nebraska and the Fighting Illini. Again, Illinois in the season, 14-11, 9-6 in the upper half of the Big Ten Conference. This is a team that has been on the rise over the course of the last eight matches. Their only loss over that period was getting swept by Wisconsin. They took down Iowa as Nebraska with another piece from Bergen-Riley. 
That's a tough ball. Riley's got it going to the sideline, so it's traveling toward the edge of the court, really forcing the serve receive to make decisions. And in a very crowded area of the court, too. Another tough serve. Outside to Terry, right into the block. Terry kept it alive. Great reaction. Mm -hmm. and good coverage there for the blue and orange. Burbage swipes it right into the block. And Becca Allen have a match, huh? <laughs> I was just going to say. Kills, six <laughs> swings, second block. She just does a good job staying with it and getting her hands and taking away that lane. I mean, she's just really watching. You can see her eyes focusing on the attacker and seeing where she's going and what she's doing with that hand. I think what's great there is she was late. Right? Yeah, she's late you can getting still. There, but stayed in it, right? Yes, yeah, so but that key is that she's watching the attacker so she knew what to do and make the adjustment for being late. Back row attack called on the orange and blue. Point for Nebraska, Chris Thomas. Up off his bench, encouraging his team, who's now fallen behind 4-0. I do feel Nebraska has served very tough so far this afternoon, really putting pressure on. Um, Again. Uh, yeah. Led to the free ball. Ron Alec did not get the touch there. And point to the fighting lineup. Just didn't get on top of that ball, but she had an open space again. She's, and that's one of the things she's reading and she's doing better too. Um, and again, I just love that she continues to grow as the season goes along, finding gaps, moving around, finding where she can do something. Beeson trapped a bit. Right into the block of Kennedy Collins. That's a tough block there. Collins is an outstanding blocker. She gets up, she averages 1.12 blocks per um, set. She's just physical and strong. Beeson kind of trapped in, as you mentioned. Good, good go line there. Get your, I'm under it. There's not there's not daylight, really. <laughs> yeah, even tough to go across court. Mm -hmm. There's Beeson off the block in the kill. It's one of the things that Barrett does so well is mm -hmm. she sees what's in front of her, makes the adjustment, makes the smart shot, which is why she's one of the you know, leaders on this team in kills. Absolutely. And she, she does. She waits. One of the things they also, I know Nebraska has been working on is waiting and walk into it. Don't get in too early because then you can't see it. And so then she comes in and she then has a better vision and, and um, what she can do and then makes it accordingly. Two aces now in the match for Harper Murray. And four aces for Nebraska in the match. Murray now leading the team with 23 aces on the year. Another tough one. Give it right back to the Huskers. Beeson right into the block of Raina Terry. Great job by Terry stepping in. She was one on one, so then she stepped across. You take a little bit and reaches that inside right back at Beeson. I just love the competitiveness to there of Raina Terry that speaks to her and how she plays. Fire in the belly. She comes from a family of just super intensely competitive people. <laughs> well, it shows on the court and, and their performance. So she had, they, have a, they have a card game they play at family time called Dutch Blitz. <laughs> it's a card game, and she says, you should see some of the conversation that happened around the tape card table when they play Dutch Blitz. It gets pretty feisty. Uh. That's family game nights are always <laughs> They can be fun, they can be, you know, <laughs> they can other be, things. Yeah. <laughs> so Everybody boring. goes home mad. <laughs> well, we thought she had the line there, that was just a bit wide. Here we get another chance to look at that. Lexi getting out of the way. I mean, she's been, actually, Terry likes to hit across and, and uh, Rodriguez is there, been digging balls. Good decision there to back off. Goes off the tape. Bumps it up to Batehorst on the overpass. Did she get the touch? Nope. Nope. Long point, Nebraska. Kind of a break there for Nebraska. Those are ones, as a hitter, you want back. <laughs> Just tough serves in Nebraska this afternoon. They're really sharp. Out of system again. They go to Terry. Here's Beeson with the tip. Terry touches her and falls on the Illini side. Point for Nebraska. 
And a timeout taken by Chris Thomas. His second timeout, Nebraska on a 4-0 run. They lead it here in set number two, 10-3. Already up one set to go. Four errors, she's hitting negative 067, but one of the best attackers in the Big Ten Conference. You know, one of the things we're talking about that is interesting is she's double jointed in almost all joints in her body. She said she can't get a lower ankle sprain because she's <laughs> double jointed, doesn't get lower ankle sprains. Her shoulder is double jointed and actually pops out of socket when she swings. That's crazy. It just opens up bigger and wider, giving her more pork with maybe, that shoulder. Maybe she gets a little more force. Wow. Yeah, that's well, she can pack the heat, that's for sure. <laughs> and a point there for the Illini. Four hits called on Nebraska, did not clear the tape. Good timeout for Chris Thomas. Illini do still have one timeout left. That was their first timeout of set number two. So here is Terry now back to serve. Jackson blocked by Kennedy Collins. Off the top of the block goes Batehorst. Great pancake up by Rodriguez. And then Murray, not down, went nope. off the foot. Yep. Was there a touch? There was no. Yes, there was a yes. touch. Yep, Beeson got her fingers, hands on it. Wow. First of all, great defensive play by Alexi Rodriguez to get it up. And the reaction to keep it alive off of a foot. Um, and then a big swing. However, <laughs> bigger block. <laughs> big horse yep. foot and over. One on one, Beeson. Good touch there. Got another touch and another kill for Nunji. Nice little run here off the serve of Raina Terry. Nunji has a nice high hand swing here. Look at Andy Jackson's fingers finding him. 3 0 run. It was a great keep, a great keep and get for Chris Thomas to have Nunji come back for this year. Oh, yeah. She debated whether or not she was going to play. In fact, missed the first match of the season. Well, and then came back and said, I'll just, you know, I can play a smaller role. You can train and develop some of the other players. I'll help mentor them. And yep. ends up growing into, we need you now. And, you know, kind of thing. And, it, I mean, when you've got a player who can contribute that, you, you're going to want to put them on the court. And she's still doing things that are helping the younger players in the development, too. But I'm pretty excited to have her back, that's for sure. Row, Terry does not clear the net. That ball was set to lead her, but a little bit too far. Terry just could not get there quick enough. By the time she contacted the ball, it's too low. You'll see her attack out of that right back a lot. Just gives them an extra attacker, especially as dynamic as Terry is. Ace back line, Merritt Beeson has now tied. Harper Murray for the team high with 23 aces. And Nebraska serving is just outstanding this afternoon. And, and actually, they have scored at least one point on every serve except that opening serve um, of the match. And another one. Keep back being, to back for Beeson. Keeping that pressure on. That, one, that time going at the one position, Pan. They push Terry back out. They've kind of tried to adjust who's going to receive here, make some adjustments. They're talking. And that pan again. Pulled off in that medium system. Point for the Illini. Called a double on yep. Riley. And a breather and break for Illinois mm -hmm. out of that rotation. Kennedy Collins, graduate year, fifth year, all in orange and blue. Good to see. You don't see that every, yep. everywhere. Most many times what we're seeing in today's environment is graduates sit up, jumping into the portal yep. and looking for an opportunity for Bill. 
Collins came back in Champaign. And the Huskers will take their first timeout. Merritt Beeson puts the Huskers on top here in set number two. Back to back Beeson aces. Huskers lead at 14-8. Tenor, we're in set number two. Huskers with a six point advantage. Lead at 1 0 in sets. This last week, Nebraska signed its new class, the 2024 class. Good news for the Huskers a couple of talented freshmen next year coming in. Olivia Mock, one of them, Skylar Pierce, another. There you see Skylar out of Lenexa, Kansas. Fourth ranked outside hitter in the country at Olivia Mock. Top ranked D. If I'm not mistaken, top ranked with Barrow mm -hmm. in the class. Pretty exciting. Just keep filling in and, and with just outstanding players. And it's fun also to see an in-stater mm. join the ranks, too. On the slide, Jackson off the top of the block uses the hands of Nunji for the kill. Nice job coming around on that slide on the backside, just finding those hands and sending it off the top. But look at that pass, Rodriguez. I don't know if I'm the opponent, I'm not serving Rodriguez. You know, I, she's done a phenomenal job and she's got such a great platform. Brandon from the outside, yeah. great, great shot right down the line. Back row. Yep. Oh, she took off in front of the line. Yep. So point Nebraska, you see there right on the line, good shot. Yep. Must have taken off inside that 10-foot line. Yep, you can land in front of it, but you got you have to take off completely behind it. But I'm just saying that was a beautiful swing. <laughs> Here it comes again. Time and there, she time threaded she it. it. Yep, threaded it through the block. And she's got a lot of pace on that ball. She comes in and look at the speed as that comes through. And you can see that gap. Lots for her to work with. the line got the touch what a swing yeah. from Andy Jackson huge swing but again key of that pass off of that tough top spin serve to get out of this rotation great finish there by Jackson she comes back it's fun to see her talking to coach Larson on the bench Coach Larson really been talking to the players about seeing what's in front of them and, and making decisions in the moment that are smart. Coach Larson, that sounds weird. I know. <laughs> I know. This door is Jordan. Jordan, yep. <laughs> so Nunji now back to serve. Second. There's Becca Alec. Eight kills for Becca Alec. Now we mentioned Coach Larson <laughs> on the bench now. This early part of the year, but she's on the bench now for the Huskers. You see Jordan, three-time Olympian. Of course, won the gold medal in 21 in Tokyo. She's helped her team qualify for the next Olympics and will be on that team as well. But what an asset. <laughs> Just, again, her experiences, what she's learned over the years, and, I mean, the best in the world. <laughs> yeah. And bringing, you know, and, and really, and bringing that, she was MVP, you know, mm -hmm. um, and just bringing that to this team and what a uh, valuable piece. I'm afraid to get on a little bit of practice either. No, I mean, she's, she's teaching all the, you know, and trying to take, like I said, her experiences and not afraid to speak up and say, but, but just again, she's really evolving and finding what her role is with this coaching staff and definitely becoming more comfortable and, and as with the staff and with the players, it's building those relationships. Line out a 3-1 run. 
and just wide. wide. That was very close to the line. Yeah. Just long for Murray. That's only the second time Nebraska has not scored with their serve in the match. And the ace right down the line from Pan. Pan serving at Allie Batenhorse. Trying to slow her down so she can't attack and put the pressure on her. See if she goes there again. Good swing by Batenhorse. Just a little touch off the block of Kennedy Collins. Kind of jamming it in through there. The blocker's there and just push, pushing aggressively through. Over pushes out, here's Terry. Into the block, Terry with another opportunity. Wow, the Jackson cleans it up. But how about Rodriguez? Yep, you, you got to give Rodriguez that point um, with that great defensive play. Terry with a hard hit, and Rodriguez popped it up, gave it in good position, but clean finish there, also knowing where those open areas are for Andy Jackson. Huskers on top by seven here in set number two, making it look easy against the Red Hot. Fighting Illini. They came in here having won seven of their last eight, and Nebraska cruising thus far through two sets. Well, so far, somebody else who's cruising is <laughs> Becca Alex. She's hitting 600. She's got eight kills on 10 attempts, only two errors. But the thing about it, she's working hard. She's finding open areas, finding a place to be set to. So she's a viable option. And we've seen her come behind, in front, kind of going in the gap. She's had a couple fed balls that she's up and ready for, and I think that's key, just really focused in, watching, making decisions that are going to allow her to be successful and help her teammates. Because if she can get involved in the offense, blockers are going to have to hold and respect her, stay with her, and open up maybe one-on-one -on -one matchups at the pins. I think if you're a Nebraska fan, the two things you really notice about this match is the progression of Becca Alec and also Allie Batenhorst, both have played really well in this match. You get those two going mm -hmm. with the way Jackson's been playing and Beast on the other side, and uh, look out. Well, and the other thing I'm going to add is the serving. Um, Nebraska's serving, yep. you know, collectively as a team is very sharp, and as they've been training, that's been something they had some trouble with early on, you know, actually for quite a, a little phase there they were struggling, but it's been something that they focus on in practice and mixing it up, different kinds of serves and, and, and staying on it and staying the course. Yeah. Um, and it's paying off. And Coach Cook was saying, we're serving great in practice. Yeah. It's not translating into games. Well, they're starting to translate it into the matches. The, those numbers you see are correct. The fighting line, I have 10 kills <laughs> in the match. Becca Alec with eight. Yeah. Wow. And the other thing about Nebraska, very diverse. If you look up and down, eight, um, Baton Horse, six, Beeson, five, Jackson, four. I mean, they're utilizing multiple players to get kills and terminations. Fighting line is struggling. They're hitting negative 130 in the match. Just over the tape by Rodriguez. And on the slide again, there was no touch. It went off the tape and out. Point Nebraska. Kennedy Collins just hit the top of the tape, and it rolled right along and out. You don't see her going around behind very often. She likes to stay in front, and so she came around there just missed the mark. Out of rotation called on the Illini, and we're going to have set point here in the second. 5-0 Nebraska run. They're stacking. And just that early movement, you gotta maintain it until the contact. Over 
over pass. Coverage by Rodriguez. Back row. Murray with the tip. Right into the donut. Well, it has been a dominant performance by the number one ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. 25-14 in set one and set two. They won the first two by identical scores. Looking every bit like the number one team in the country. When we come back, we'll take a look at Becca Allen. Not only her performance, but her season. Huskers in dominant fashion on top 2-0. I'm gonna do everything in my power to not lose. She has great vision. She has a great feel for the game. She could probably play any position, setter, hitter, middle, which is pretty hard to say that for some middle blockers. Becca's coming alive. She's getting excited. She likes to talk and she likes to compete and having people like that who show their competitiveness in different ways is great. Becca is someone who's more outward with it, which is amazing for our gym because we like to complete, we like to be loud, and Becca does a great job of bringing that to practice every single day. Becca is extremely outgoing, extremely social and driven, and she's just gonna give her all into anything that is in front of her. What a swing by Alec! <laughs> Becca getting excited. She's a great competitor. She wants to win. She has very high expectations for our team and for herself. She's gonna hold you accountable. She's gonna make sure you're working hard. She's gonna work the hardest and she's gonna expect that out of you as well. I like to talk a little bit through the net. I like to poke some fun. I just like being in an environment where I'm pushed. Having people that you can genuinely rely on helps you get through those mental fogs because, you know, the reality is it's like some of us are not going to want to be there some days. And so having girls that you can say, hey, I don't want to be here right now, but I need to show out for you guys because every rep does count at this level. Um, it's, I mean, it's everything having that kind of relationship. If you're struggling, she's going to lift you up. She's going to remind you to like keep going after it. Like she's not going to let anyone kind of fall below the standards. And I think it's really important for our team, but she's, she's bringing it every day for sure. I can't believe like this is what the time I get to live in. This is what I get to do. So I'm just, I'm very honored. This means a lot to her. She's, in, she's a Nebraska girl and she's grown up around all this and she wants to leave a legacy here. He's there on Becca Alec. I don't know what it is, but every time Rockwell, our producer, decides to feature a player, they show up, and Becca has shown up here tonight. <laughs> the players are going to want to get connected to Brock and talk about it, but she has definitely showed up. She showed up in the middle in a lot of locations along the net and has found a way to get that ball to hit the floor. She's hitting an incredible 600, eight kills, and as you mentioned, more kills than anyone on the Illinois side of the net. So. She's leading all attackers um, today, but outstanding um, performance. Seven service errors, or I'm sorry, aces, seven service aces for Nebraska through two. It's intentional, it's been worked on, it's been focused on, and today it is showing up in the match. Not just in practice where they've been keying yeah. in on the training. You've got to translate that into the match, and it, it definitely has today. They have looked very sharp and tough at the service line too. There you see the numbers, Nebraska hitting 250 to Fighting Illini's negative 93. Yeah, I, I think the hitting percentage really speaks volumes as well as the service aces. The service aces obviously lend to them limiting their ability to run their offense in system. Um, and it's been challenging even if they have Nebraska hasn't got an ace. They've had some balls that have really pulled Illinois out of system and, and can't get their offense really on, on, I guess, running on its system. No coach in the country has a better winning percentage since 2000 than John Cook. And since 2000, Nebraska has won four national titles. 
We talked about Becca Alec leaving a legacy and how she wants to leave a legacy. <laughs> John Cook has certainly left one here as well. So underway here in set number three, Bergen Riley leads it off for Nebraska in the first rotation. And for the first time, Fighting Illini open up with a lead in a set as the kill from Jess Nunji. And a great start. They need some energy here coming out of the break and see if they can get a little bit of offensive production going, which will kind of keep feeding into their game. You see the Illini starting in rotation one as well. Mm -hmm. And again, a great place for this big top spin serve to maybe get some energy and momentum on their side. Mosier did not, or pushed it out to Nunji, who did not get the touch. Nunji long on the swing. Murray with two aces, Mayor Beeson with two aces, Bergen Riley with two aces. Back row. Harper Murray with the kill. Good pick. Absolutely. U utilizing that back row, keeping, you know, the blockers off balance. Even though they're, they're up there, they've got three hitters, you got to adjust for a back row attack. Murray serving at um, Raina Terry, too, trying to, again, keep pressure on her. Goes at her again. Good communication. You're watching the Huskers talk in those kind of out-of-system plays. Back row attack called in Nebraska. John Cook pulled out the challenge, but... I think we're going to have a quick conversation as Merritt was in the front row when she attacked. Yes, yeah. I'm not sure they're... So officials get together to make sure that was the right call. So they're going to replay yep. the point. Yep. Did not need the challenge. As the officials got together, corrected it. That's what you want to happen. And now again, communicating to Illinois what went on, so they're aware too. Captain Mosier up there. Tough serve. Pulls Mosier yep. way off the net. And the blockers can release and get a big block up. Burbage. <laughs> Key there again, the block, and, and just the tough serve to pull him out of system. Block was there, setting up and waiting. And then Lloyd couldn't get back organized and insist. And her third ace. Could tell on the contact, it was a nice low flat serve. Going to be problematic. Look at how low that travels. It barely skims the net. Mayor Beeson and Harper Murray in a battle back and forth <laughs> to see who's going to lead the team at aces. Murray regains the lead. 24 on the season. Off the side of the block. Good kill there by Burbage. That's what they're hoping, to, you know, get a few more ball handling to, uh, in a situation where they can run the offense. They have a good offense. They've just not been able to show it today. Great off block. Up. Yeah. And the point for the Illini. Raina Terry right there on top of it. Look at it, how she gets on top of it. She comes back with a lot of energy due to her turn, screaming, trying to get some fire. As you talked, she has the competitive cells in her body from top to bottom. <laughs> Targeting Batenhorst again. Yeah. They'll go to Becca Alec. Oh, great up by Mosier. Three ball. Locked 
there. Yep. Burbage. Burbage right on top of that. That's one of those balls trapped in. Allie, you could see her hand trying to throw it and push it off and out of bounds. Just good hand shaping by Burbage. Nebraska's 4-0 run answered by a 3-0 run from the Illini. Locked back. Great up. Diving up by Barnes. And down. Good touch. Yep. Good change up. Dropping that ball in the middle of the defense. Tempo change. Rainer now with five kills. Nunji to serve. Kill. Great vision there. I mean, a lot of line given to her. She hasn't hit line, so good adjustment. A lot of heat on that ball. Nebraska was up 4-1, and right now it's a 5-0 fighting a line I run to make it 6-4. All coming on the serve of Jess Nungy. And they target Batenhorst again and get the ace. And John Cook is going to take a timeout. Biggest run of the match for the Fighting Illini, six in a row. They lead at 7-4. Third, you know Nebraska number one in the nation in NCAA Division I. How about Division II? Look at this, a couple of in-state schools ranked one and 10. This is why this is the state of volleyball. I just love seeing these, these programs being successful and a lot of them are filled with Nebraska players and both of those squads had 13 Nebraska players on their roster. And so the state of Nebraska truly is a treasure and a building ground for volleyball players. Scott Kneifel, Wayne State, leading fantastic program in Wayne, Nebraska. Number one in the country and out of the timeout. Big double block, Rana Terry and Boom both there. Nebraska trying to find a way offensively to get out of this rotation. They've gone in front. That was a great change up out of the break going to the behind. Still have to find a solution here. Could look for Harper Murray from that 10 foot that back row attack as well as an option. And another ace reminiscent of that run that mm. Penn State had to end the match with Nebraska. What was it, a 9 0 run? Mm. Hayden Kubik into the back row to pass. Trying to give a little relief there. And they'll target Hayden Kubik yep. here, no doubt. Yep. A great job from the service line by Nunji, right down the line. Good pass in system. Alec. And you can't ask for anything better. I, I just love that Hayden Kubik was ready, prepared for the opportunity, come in and make a difference, got a great pass, got him out of that rotation. Rodriguez now back to serve. There, piece of flying across and tumbles to the floor. Try to get the block, but over the net called on the fighting Illini. It's going to be a point, Nebraska. And we're going to get a challenge. Is that a challengeable call? I don't think I don't it is. I believe it is. The rules don't give that an option. So he is not then challenging the back row attack, he's going to challenge in the net, net. or something else. Yeah. This could be I'm trying to make a point challenge. So did Merritt Beeson get in the net here? 
Nope, but the net no. did wobble after that play on the far side, and I didn't see who was in, or if it was the ball. Here's another Here, one. Yeah, maybe we can see. Let's see that again to see, yeah. see if Hayden Kubik got in the net here. I, that's what I came just... back down. No touch there, but on the way back down, maybe brushed it. Yep, yep. with that right hand. hand. Yep, inside hand. So yep. this is going to be a successful challenge for Chris Thomas. Calls aren't even made. This would be a big point for the Fighting Illini. Yep, yep. Extend it back to a five-point lead instead of three. In the net. Mm -hmm. Yep. Coach Cook asking for clarification. Was it before yeah, or after timing the call. Of where, when, and where was. was. They were thinking it was Mary Beeson in the yeah. net. It actually happened earlier in right. the play. It was a good call, right call. Yep. Kubik rushes it off the block. Happen Marie with the coverage. Back to Beeson. And Merritt Beeson goes over the block and gets the touch off Caroline Barnes. Her sixth kill in the match. She's been a little bit quieter than we've seen her today, but we've had production from other players, too, and, and it's been real diverse, so um, getting in the mix a little bit. You can see on the replay, too, whether Caroline Barnes touched it or not. It went off the fingertip of Raina Terry. Tough pass. Mm -hmm. And trapped from Nebraska with the block. Batenhorst and Jackson doubled up. Yep, Batenhorst back in there, much bigger block compared to Hayden Kubik. But Hayden Kubik, Kubik game changer, came in and made a difference. Got to credit her for being ready and, and stepping in. Overpass, put down. Oh, there's a Batenhorst on an overpass getting a kill. So many times you just see her just miss <laughs> on those overpasses. She tends to get super anxious and goes up a little bit earlier. And here she waited. But did you see she took a little bit off, yep. too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep it in. Be smart. Just mm. long. Boy, thought that was back line. Yeah, it was close. John Cook looking at the student section. Up, oh, was it out? Was it in? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's just keeping their hands to their side. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to be the <laughs> one. It was too close. <laughs> we trust our line judges. Vanessa Pan to serve. <laughs> They're going right along that sideline. Yep, yep. Bait first from out of system, got the touch. touch. Yep. Tough ball coming over the head from a deep, sharp angle. Just a great job to stay bay, stay out. Keep your eye on it and get your hand to it and your feet to it. Served by Chobo. On the slide, Kimberly Collins blocked back. Still alive, great coverage. Well, the pick to Beeson. Just tough to stop her. And the great lead, you know, Bergen Riley gives her the ball where she takes off behind, but is early contacting almost at the five foot line. You know, so it's like she's hitting in a front row. <laughs> There's Raina Terry off the block and gets a kill. That's what she does. <laughs> she's just a. a, a really feisty an attacker. A lot of pace on that ball, too. You can see Beeson didn't hardly have time to get a, in a position to make a play even. 
I see a poster with Reign of Terror and says Reign of Terror. <laughs> Just long from Terry. Yep, I like that for Larry. <laughs> the block and another kill for Terry as she warms up here in set number three. She's now at nine and back to positive hitting numbers, hitting 069. And we talked about, again, leading Beeson. Well, great lead here by Mosier. It's the same thing. I mean, Terry looks like she's hitting from that front row with that great lead on that right side. She's got two attackers in front. And actually, Terry is her back behind attacker. Fifth service error on on. Uh, Illinois. Riley now back to serve. Go, 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 go. Great tip. Good time to tip by Nunchi. Yep. Well, the server is back and mm. comes up, um, and if they're not coming up in a ready to play position, that's an easy kill to catch them off their toes and not and making the play. So here's the serve of Brooke Mosier. Upper Murray not down, out of system. Got a swing on it, but just wide. Good shot by Nunji, out of system, I like it. Yep, stayed aggressive, yep. came, got pulled inside. She didn't miss that by much. Going for that hard cross court shot. Tough serve again, uh, system. Swipes it straight down. Mosier was there. Mosier's played some tough defense back there. Nunji tried the angle, but just well wide. Sent it into the first row. And Nebraska has knotted it at 14. And the fans come alive here. Excited to see. for Nebraska to take the lead. Alec and Beeson there clamping down at the block, stayed inside, that set got pushed inside. Fighting a line, I will take a timeout. Chris Thomas will chat it with his team. Both teams with one timeout remaining. Big block for Nebraska. Leading the way, Huskers with six blocks in the match. Tough, you know, she, they've been challenging her. They've been making it difficult for her. But she is a competitor. She will find a way. She's now got nine kills, um, and she's had 30 swings. Yeah, she's involved, <laughs> to say the least. You see her kills per set trails only Emily Lond out of Ohio State, just ahead of Jess Merzik, the transfer from Michigan to Penn State. And we talked about the number of swings she gets. She has 30 attacks of the 30 of the team's 75 swings. Yep. So we talked about she hovers right around that 39 percent, uh, you know, and she, but she also gets about 39, 40 percent of their kills, <laughs> you know, or their terminations. So she is a huge factor. And as you said, I like it. Reign of Terror. Good pass. Kill for Nunji. Nunji, nice job right there getting um, it into the block, but again, knocking the block off the net. She had Becca, excuse me, um, Allie Batenhorst there. 
And just what a great ad she is to the team. You know, like I said, we talked about earlier, her making that decision kind of late to, to say, uh, I'm, I guess I'm not really quite ready to be done. I missed that. <laughs> so, the lab. Alec with a hitting error. Good timeout for Chris mm -hmm. Thomas is there back in the lead at 16-15. Chris Thomas played his volleyball collegiately at Pacific. First team All-American. Team captain back in 2003. But Jen, his wife, will remind him she was a four time All American. He was just a one time All American. That's good, you know, the stats up. <laughs> Great shot there, high hand. And great for Nebraska to be able to get out of that rotation because Nunji had a 7 0 run last time in that position. So wanting to get out of that as soon as yeah. they can. Knotted at 16 now. Diving serve right at Terry to go the other way. She tries to cross court it. One of the touch. And right away they look at Chris Thomas and he pulls out the green card for the challenge. Burbage turned right away and said, touch, touch, touch. Batenhorst turned right away, said, no touch, no touch. Which so, means it was a touch. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Our great cameras will be able to tell us. Not there, but it did touch Merritt Beeson. Yep. Or no, is that Beeson? Nope. Um, Andy Jackson. Yeah. Yep. yep. Well, there you see Chris Thomas, his wife, Jen, in the background, guy with the earbuds in. That's Andy Wingstrand. He's a former Husker. He was on Nebraska's staff for a long time, now the director of operations for the Fighting Illini. Wingstrand was recruited by Chris Thomas to go with him to Illinois. A lot of connections between the Illini and the Huskers, of course, the Thomases, and Andy. Daryl Miles is the current head of broadcast operations in Illinois. He's a former Husker Vision and Nebraska grad. What do you pull from these successful programs when you're building your staff and you want people on your staff who understand winning, you're sitting at a high level? Well, and exciting to, you know, opportunities, you know, for, you know, Andy and, and others to, to go with Chris and do some yeah. different things. You know what Andy did before he was on staff in Nebraska? He worked at the Henry Dorley Zoo. And and you know what? The team went there yesterday. yesterday that's right. Andy had some connections at the yeah. zoo, and um, what a, we heard Darryl. lots of positive things about <laughs> how wonderful the zoo was, and Andy was kind of a key factor in that opportunity for the team. Yeah, so they had that uh, they had the day off between mm -hmm. Iowa City on Friday and this this afternoon. So they took Saturday and went to the Henry Dorley Zoo in Omaha. So they had a phenomenal time. I guess Andy used to work with the penguins. Penguins. Which would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would They're be. so entertaining and <laughs> engaging. Yeah, that would be fun. You know, Andy Jackson, uh, her athleticism and her elevation is just phenomenal. And the thing about it is, too, it's just natural. It's effortless. She just pops her hips, her high contact point. <laughs> Saved in there. Still alive. Good job to keep it alive. Mm -hmm. Well, run the slide with Action Jackson again. She got it. Get her in the mix. In this, you know, 5-1 rotations where you got only two hitters, really being able to string her behind, get her involved, because you got her and Batenhorst. And obviously you got some back row relief with both Beeson and Murray back there, but great job. Down the line, just wide. Yep. Good swing there by Nunji, but just missed it. Might have been Burbage with that swing on the right side. 19-17, Nebraska has come back to take the lead here late in the third, looking for the sweep at home against the Fighting Illini, who are 14-11 and 11 on the year, have a winning record inside the conference, 9-6, and 7-1 and one in their last eight. They're only lost to Wisconsin. Nebraska's middles doing the job here. Talked about Becca Alec having nine kills. How about Andy Jackson? 
Andy Jackson with six and on eight swings, no errors, hitting 750. So talk about Middles having the hot hand definitely tonight. They're talking loud out there on the court. Alex hitting 429. She has nine kills. Um, Andy Jackson with six, getting involved in the offense, which also frees up your your pin hitters. So really, they talk about, again, leaning in on each other and helping each other. And those medals tonight, or this afternoon, have definitely done that. Hitting five, two medals hitting 545 for Nebraska. Here's a look at the hitting leaders of the Big Ten Conference. Carter Booth, the transfer from Minnesota to Wisconsin, hitting 443 for the Badgers. Outstanding middle. Nebraska will see her here in a couple weeks on Black Friday. Andy Jackson, and you see Anna Smreck, who did not play last night at Penn State. She's third in the league, so the top, two of the top three from Wisconsin. You look at Nebraska's schedule coming up. They have Michigan and Iowa before heading to Wisconsin on Black Friday, and then they follow that up with a match in Minneapolis against Minnesota. Tough finishing weekend for the Huskers. Yeah, so in six days, they've got three road trips. That's right. And big, some big matchups there. Back line. Raina Terry took a little off that one. Good timeout for the Alina. Back in to serve is Vanessa Pan. Coming up Friday. Michigan is in town. There'll be another showdown of the Murray sisters, Harper and her sister. First one this year was in Ann Arbor. With her lots, sister Kendall is a junior at Michigan. Lots of family and friends there to support both sisters and yeah. the family. Laney Choboy. Terry pounds it, and Showboy chases it down the tunnel. <laughs> Reminiscent of Bo Jackson running down the tunnel in days of old. Um, Showboy doesn't hesitate. Um, she goes and goes and goes, and um, I love that no-quit attitude that she has. At the top of the block. Opportunity here. Pancake out for again from off the net is long. Great actually up there yeah. also by Burton Riley to get that up even in a position for a swing on it. 20 all here late in the third. Raina Terry leads the team in aces, but that is long and it's the sixth service error on Illinois. And a tough time, that's the key, you know, you hit 20, those last few points, you never want missed it, um, serves, but this is a crucial point, especially when you're right in there trying to get the Mo, stay alive. Top of the block, got the kill. Nice adjustment there by yeah. Becca Alex. She didn't go all the way out and close. She saw that it was coming inside, and she did what she needed to do to try and slow it down, trying to pop it up for a team to, to make a play just too far out of reach. Serving sub coming in for the Fighting Illini. It's going to be Bianca May in to serve for Kennedy Collins. This is the eighth match of the season that Bianca has played in as a serve specialist. Good pass. Back row, Beeson. What a shot. Exactly what you're looking for. Coming out of that middle, hitting to the deep corners. Look at all the space she has to hit at. And the, the defense is pinched in there. Beautiful. Tight. Murray took a hack at it. 
Nunji with the swing and got the touch and a kill. I like the big aggressive swing by Nunji. Tough ball, goes up hard, high hand, just what they need. 22 all late here in set number three. Fighting the line out of timeouts. Nebraska still has one. Brooke Mosier and her tough serve. Great pass. Mm -hmm. Harper Murray off the block. But what a great pass there by Lexi Rodriguez. That top spin, she gets under it, pops it right in the hands, on in the box for Riley. Give Riley some credit on the set too, right? I mean, yes. that's, that ball spinning like crazy. And yep, a lot of it, speed on it. Two doubles already here in the match, unusual for Bergen. Terry. I guess again. Horse pulled inside. <laughs> what a great play. She went after that ball, was inside. She just did that one foot takeoff, kind of like a slide in front. Fires it at the sideline. Match point for Nebraska. Yet on the swing by Burbage. Set point number two here for Nebraska, make it match point for the Huskers. And the Huskers will take a timeout. Final timeout for Nebraska. Nunji's been tough here in this service rotation. They've gone hard at bait and horse here, so probably timeout just kind of collectively talk a little bit here about what this is and try and get this one finished up come out with a plan and a play and a pass <laughs> and a pass exactly well you want to put it away when you have the opportunity right mm -hmm. absolutely take a look at Allie Bakehorst she's had a uh -huh. solid match nine kills Hitting 286. We talked about it early on, making good decisions too. Here, that was a great jam and swipe out. But her last swing there on that rally where that ball was in a difficult position, she didn't hold back. She went after it aggressively, and that is key. She stayed aggressive and made a smart shot. And actually that ball, if you recall, it was dug and it did hit the scoreboard. And this scoreboard's pretty darn high up there. It came off the dig, hit the yeah. scoreboard. I'm not sure who stepped in and made the set to give it to Baton Horse, but <laughs> tremendous focus to stay with that. There's a look at the standings of the conference. At risk here for Nebraska, an undefeated record and undefeated season. They're 24 on the year, unbeaten in conference with a two game advantage over Wisconsin after the Badgers lost last night on the road to Penn State in State College. We talked about this, you know, if you look at Michigan and Iowa coming up before they have Wisconsin on Black Friday, this is the toughest test of those before you go into Wisconsin and try to wrap up the Big Ten Conference Championship. Nebraska has not won a conference title since 2017. Yep. That's the year they shared it with Penn State. And Coach Cook said, uh, Wisconsin has set the standard. Here is Dungeon. Goes at Harper Murray this time. A little tight to the net, set over. Back row attack called on Nebraska. We have extra yep. points here in the third. Yep. And this has been a wicked serve by Jess Nunji. She has been targeting yep. Nebraska in the right spots and been very effective. Well, after Murray again, that time Rodriguez steps in front. Out to bait course, off the block. Spinning around. Into the block again, kept alive. Opportunity here for the fighting line. They roll it over, not down. Beeson. Pushed out to Terry, who tips. What coverage from Batenworth all the way across the court. Terry again. Why? No, got the touch. And now the fighting Illini with an opportunity at set point here in the third. 
Definitely fighting here to stay alive. Big swings, big ups. See it hit the hand of Alec mm -hmm. there. Nunji still at the service line. Good pass. Beeson. Not down. Mosier kept it alive. Here's Terry. Got it. Fighting a lot. I win the third. And we are heading to a fourth here in Lincoln. What a response from the Illinois Fighting Illini as they take set number three and send it to a fourth here in Lincoln. Huskers with eight aces in the match, but it was all fighting Illini there in set number three, 26-24, as they come from behind to knock off Nebraska. Raina Terry led the way. She now is up to 14 kills. So she really heated up. I mean, she had four at the end of set number two, so 10 kills in that set. Illinois got offensive going. They hit 333. They were negative the previous two sets. So their offense was the difference maker in this last set. Got them in this match, and they're fighting now. Push this to a fifth. Carolina, this is exactly what you wanted to see. Get Reyna on a roll because she mm -hmm. can go. And Nebraska conversely did not want to see Reyna Terry in a set number four or five. Well, they had really contained her in the first two sets. Yeah. And um, part of that was with really strong serving, limiting her, but being a block and up, all those things. Back line. Harper Murray. Swinging for that back third of the court. Stats don't give us the breakdown, but would love to see Nebraska's percentage in scoring with everyone at the service line except for Jess Nunji, because Jess Nunji has gone on a few runs, including mm -hmm. late there to win it. And here, Jess Nunji back at the line again. This has been a great rotation right. for the Fighting Illini. Well, and um, Nebraska's a little bit different previous in the last set. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> Riley was coming from the middle of the court, moving kind of in front of the serve receive passers. Terry from off the net rolls it over. Back to Alec, not down. Nebraska resets. Alec again into the block, but falls on the fighting Illini side. Alec with another kill. She leads Nebraska now with 10 kills, doubles for Becca Alec. And you can definitely see Nebraska's intentionality of going to the middle, and Becca's been very successful, and so why not feed her? Uh, but uh, just keep working that. You keep seeing that, trying to keep things up. Serve is long. Ten kills for Becca Alec is one off her season high. She had 11 at Penn State mm -hmm. and 11 at Northwestern. <laughs> Nebraska suddenly become kind of high error, few mm -hmm. mistakes. They were just cooking in sets one and two. And it looks like they've turned down the gas. Touches call on the fighting line. I point Nebraska. You, you talk about Nebraska, but I also am going to give credit to Illinois. They have been digging more balls. They've been in position. A lot of balls that were falling early on, particularly out of the middle. Um, Mosier has got 
two or three of those popped up that were falling easily earlier. So their elevation, their elevation of play has also been a factor. Top of the block on the swing by Burbage. Bateman swiped it off the block and got the kill. Great job there, seeing what she had. That middle of the court's been vulnerable. Going off the high hands, they actually caught the hands on that one, but again, trying to keep it in that middle of the court, really congested when they can collapse on it. Bateman with her third consecutive match of double-digit kills. That swing got the touch. They're going to say no touch, but Chris Thomas believes there was a touch, so he'll challenge the call. Mm, did not see it I there. I didn't see it on that one either. Ter Terry was very confident. Here we'll get a chance to help us out a little bit. Yep. Double yep. touch on Merritt. Yep. It was on the right hand. I thought maybe it was between the block, but the swing went outside of Merritt Beast and hits that right two fingers. Yeah, that other angle looked like it was going between. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Good camera. Should not take long. Yep. Saw the touch right away. So this will be even at four. Good challenge by Coach Thomas. Pan back into the match for Illinois. She will serve. Violation over the line. Oh, yeah, yep. that's right on the line. Yep. with Andy Jackson. You can see over here. Look at all that court she has to swing at. And Merritt Beeson with the ace. And that is now the second ace for Beeson. And she tied Murray for the team lead in aces. 24 on the season. I believe that, that one makes it three, I believe, for her. Three, she's been she's been really putting pressure on Pan here in this rotation. Just long. Terry now back to serve. Terry unanimous all Big Ten in 2012, ranks fourth nationally. With more than 1,270 attacks on the season. Incredible. And he jacks it on the slide. That slide she hit just off the back of the setter's head versus to the pin. And that's the great thing about a slide. You can hit that at any place along um, their edge. So as she's coming in, she can hit here. You can hit uh, here. Blockers aren't sure, and they got to be moving and got to be reacting. Another touch on Nebraska and a kill for the Illini. Kill by Nunji. Nunji's done a great job staying aggressive on the outside. She's worked in high hands mostly. She's tried some hard cross court shots, but her success really has come off the fingertips of the Nebraska block. Oh, no! Joust there, won yep. by Bergen Riley. Riley is tough up at the net and. and 
She's um, just her timing and her strength. She's won several of those type of jousts. Mm -hmm. Nunji's being aggressive on the outside. She's just staying hard after it, going for it. And I'm not sure if it touched fingers or not. Showboy went for it. I like Nunji's approach here late in the third, also here in the fourth. Even out of system, she's taking rips. She's taking rips, and she's been tough at the service line, too. We can talk about that. <laughs> Picked by Beeson. <laughs> How great is it to have a player like this? I mean, she's hitting that ball, coming on top of that ball, just that angle. I mean, wow. Terry out of the back row, good up by Rodriguez. Rask will run the ball. Burbage goes down the line. It's Nunji down the line. And what a hustle by Choboy into the stands. <laughs> wow! I told you Choboy never quits on a ball. Body doesn't matter. And then, I mean, the finish here. Couldn't be better for Nebraska. What an energy boost. Thank Laney Choboy for never quitting. Chris Thomas felt the environment, the eruption here <laughs> at the Bob Devaney Sports Center and took a timeout. Nebraska up by four here in set four with a 2-1 lead. But what a play by Laney Choboy. Back here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center, along with Kathy Wieskamp, I'm Larry Putney. 11-7 here in the fourth as the Illini came from behind to take set three. 26-24. Nebraska battling back here in the fourth. and Bone were there, but Murray beat them both. Yep, just that tempo of that ball and enough middle middle swings that they had to be pinched in a little bit. Great line vision, too, there by Murray to see that was open. They gave her a lot of space there. Tough serve. Top of the block. Great job. <laughs> great re reaction. I'm not even thinking by Alec, but got to credit. Great work on the Illinois side of the court. Staying with it, organized. Burbage put it away, and now Nunji back at the service line for the Illini. She has been tough, and in set number three, she really made a difference. She had a, three service opportunities, had 11 points. Prior to that, set one, only two, and none in set number two and so far. Raina Terry with the block. Pops in one point here. The 
This is a rotation that has been very profitable for Illinois. They want to push as much as they can here. Nebraska hoping to get out of it. No touch in. Beeson is long. And a timeout taken by John Cook. As once again, Jess Nungy from the service line giving Nebraska fits. Was there a touch on that last play? Tough to tell. Twelve ten, Nebraska. Fourth. Which keeps Nunji back at that service line. Decent off the top of the block. Pushed out to Terry. And another kill for Raina Terry. In the net. They call Nebraska in the net here, I believe. Let's see if we can see. A transfer from Florida State prior to her junior year, just Nungy. Running it from the service line for the Illini, and Becca Alec picks up her 11th kill that ties a season high for Becca. Third time this season with 11. And again, she was hot in set number one, really a key factor in kind of really running through set number one very efficiently. If they can get her going again, that will really help. Just long of the serve. Thirty-two percent of the Fighting Illini's points have come off of Nunji's serve, which is a remarkably mm. high number. Oh, 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 oh. Terry again. Here come the Illini. Wow. Out at thirteen. They don't quit. I I love that about them, and I feel like they're playing some really tough defense here as of late in the last two sets. Tough serve. Alec runs the middle. Got the kill. That's a new season high for Becca Alec. 12 kills. She's got two blockers up on her. She's just doing a, a great job staying high with that hand, knowing where open areas are on the court, finding that deep corner. Terry with the tip right back by Andy Jackson, she gets the block. Andy Jackson did not quit on that ball and that was key, she stayed in there, she wasn't gonna get close, but she still stayed hard, uh, stayed aggressive and with the hands pushed in, look at that. Three blocks for Jackson, eight for Nebraska in the match. That equals the Illini's blocks, both teams with eight. A good tip there by Collins who hasn't done much offensively, but she gets a kill there, that's her second. All right. Just looking at the defense's back, this area is really open and vulnerable. Either the person not blocking has to get off, but they have to not just get off, they have to be in a position to play the ball and a posture to do that too. So if you're not gonna block, you gotta be a defensive player, and then that ball can get popped up. And the tandem. Raina Terry got the kill. She just keeps finding ways to get kills. Looks like she's, uh, let's see here if she's going over the block, but Riley's been the target as of late. Yeah. <laughs> Not at a 15 here in the fourth. Jax 
Jackson. Get the middles involved. They're really producing. Jackson hitting 800, eight kills, 10 swings, no errors for Andy Jackson. She'll stay in the front row as Mara Beeson goes back to serve. Terry again, there was no touch there, and that is long point for Nebraska. Fired at the hands, did not yep. get him. Missed, just missed him. Good pass by mm -hmm. Pan. And ran the middle. Kennedy Collins gets her third kill, second of this set. You know, and coming right in that gap, kind of um, trying to beat that block. Not right out at the center. Raina Terry leads the team in aces, but she struggled from the service line. No aces, and I believe that's her third service error. Yeah, I was going to say, today's been ch uh, challenging at the service line for her. Raina Terry might have been the one who said <clears throat> during Big Ten Media Days, I swear there's a draft at Devaney. I never <laughs> serve well there. Yeah, just long. Return the favor. In to serve now for the Illini. Bianca May will come in for Kennedy Collins. And I came from behind to take set number three. 26 24 and send it to this fourth set. Would love to send it to a fifth. Yes. On the slide, Jackson. No <laughs> Her elevation, she gets on top and her contact point are two key factors. Also, she's got a lot of space there. The blockers didn't get closed. She has that opportunity. Maisie Bozinger in to serve now. Her first action. Go, go, go. Tough serve by Bozinger. Back row, Terry. Oh, oh, what a yes. nice readjust by Children. Free ball. And Great Children up. with another up. And another for Nebraska. Oh, look out, the place might explode. What an up! Free ball opportunity. Bergen second touch, not down. Off the top of the block. What a win by Illinois on that point. Holy cow! We saw some phenomenal defense, some phenomenal organization on both sides of the net, but what a finish for Illinois to win that long, challenging rally. That's got to give them some fire and momentum. And a timeout taken by John Cook. Second timeout for the Huskers here in this fourth set. On top by one at 19-18. Talk about the readjustment for Chilboy. She's headed one way and watch her go the other way to save this. Well, she reads it. And then the little fingers got on it of Becca Alec. And so she's got to change direction in a pretty short order. Wow. <laughs> That's just great body control and being able to, again, to stay balanced and, and react to it. But then we saw two or three big plays here. Again, she comes Another back. And then we go to the stands here with Harper Murray, actually. I like the aggressive swinging, though, too. Both sides stayed aggressive and assertive in this long rally. Some great play in the back row by the fighting oh, line yeah. as well. Barnes with that up. And another one, yeah. On this Barnes one. again. Yeah. And then finally, right here, the block. Carrie Bohm closes it out. 
Balance is the key in, in defense and reading and then reacting. <laughs> wow, what a point. And one by the Illini to pull them to within one here, 19-18. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> Pillars might have come down in this place if Nebraska won that point. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of cheering on big swings and Forty one second round. One by the fighting line. Well, let's see if that can propel them here to this fourth and send it to a fifth crowd trying to get in it here at the Manny Sports Center. Back row. Beeson roll it over. Great up by Mosier. Free ball opportunity here for the Huskers. Riley, a lot of options. Murray got it. Big point for Nebraska. Huge point there and, and great ball handling they had that provided all options, as you said. So now Riley back to serve. At 2018. Terry's great shot, but <laughs> Our line official got lit up. <laughs> yep. I think bent the flag, actually. <laughs> it did bend the, yes. it did bend the flag, you're right. You talk about the heat on that ball, well. Wow. Back to within one, and look who's serving. Yep. Jessica Nungi. Key rotation here for Nebraska and for Illinois. Good pass in system. Murray with the tip. Got the kill. Big kill. A lot of empty stands here at the Devaney Sports Center. So many of the, somebody of the crowd got up and left when it was like 24-22 right. or three. late in the second, late in the third set. It looked like Nebraska was on its way to a sweep. I'm sure fans are either getting home about now and turning on the TV and saying, wait, it, what? It's, still, <laughs> it's still on. And it's still tight. Tough serve. Yep. And the ace for Harper Murray. Focused in. 25 of the season for Harper Murray. Four aces in this match for Harper Murray. And Nebraska extends it. It's lead now to three at 22-19. Big lead here late and timeout taken by the Alina. <laughs> the back and forth between Merritt Beeson and Harper Murray continues as they both have 25 aces. Key is coming out of this timeout here. Um, Harper Murray with that serve continues to be focused, drive it in there. We're at 22-19 critical point. We always talk about that 20, not missing after that. Nebraska, one of their best matches of the season from the service line. They have 10 aces in the match. Just really have come out very focused. Coach Cook has said we've been training hard on this. It's been practice. We've been putting them under pressure, giving them some different types of serves so that they're prepared for it. And um, it really has shown up in today's match, the success of that training and, and translating here into the match. Key point is here now late. Can they keep it together and keep continuing to do that? So out of the timeout, the final timeout taken by the Illini. 22-19. Season high, tied a season high in aces for Nebraska with 10. Great one hand up there. Just punched over by Batehorst. Blocked back, but into the net called on Nebraska. Point for the Illini, so still Tight game here, 22-20 in the third. Yep, just what they wanted with that timeout. 
Here you get a chance to see that again. Yep, that press over. Ace for the Eli Line, a big moment. Caroline Barnes with the ace. Barnes putting the pressure on Baton Horse with that serve. Boy, they yep. shoved Made Baton Horse out of the yep. way and put uh, Rodriguez right back there as they targeted Baton Horse again, and then into the block. And Alexi delivered on the pass, and Nebraska now two away from winning the match as Rodriguez will go back. Yeah, great adjustment there to change the look. Nebraska throws up the trickle, triple, triple block, block on Terry. Yep. Tough serve by Rodriguez. Terry again. Just uh. long. Terry with the kill. She just hits, yeah, she hits that ball so hard. Ricochet off the block. She's, we talked about slow start tonight or this afternoon. Wow. She's hit, hitting 20 kills right now. She's had 53 attempts. Serve here by Pam. Bait forced. Not a great pass, but Baton Horse bails him out with a great swing. And a great job by her to move on to the next thing, not get caught up in the, oh, that pass didn't go where I want it, came back and swung aggressively. Match point for Nebraska. Terry off the top of the block. Opportunity here for the Huskers to close it out. Beeson. Nebraska tried to make it interesting late. The fighting line, I certainly did. As they win the third set to send it to a fourth, but Nebraska closes it out and remains unbeaten on the season. The final 25-22 in the fourth. Nebraska ties a season high with 10 aces in the match. Becca Allen with a new season high with 12 kills. And Nebraska hits 275 in the set. 237 in the match. Final swing. Oh, yeah. Got a little more interesting than it started out, didn't it? Yeah. Joined now by Nebraska middle blocker Becca Alec, who had 12 kills, a new season high at 474. Once again, Becca, in this match, it looked like there was a focused effort to feed the middles. Was that the plan coming in? I mean, always. I think we have a really balanced offense, so us being just middles is, you know, we're just part of the offense and we're just about spreading it everywhere. So, um, yeah, because we, we figured they were going to start picking up on Beeson and Harper because they're both tanks, and so we figured it was our turn. <laughs> Well, just mixing up, diversifying, you know, helps you. Talk about, again, how you, even in balls that aren't ideal, still finding a way to get up and be an option. Right. I mean, as a middle, you know, we're, we're not really pushed as much as the outsides. On average, our attempts are rather low. And so when I do get those opportunities, especially in big moments, I want to be able to kill the ball. I want to be reliable. Just because as a middle, we have such a small uh, margin of error. What was it like in the huddle there, you know, after the third set when they came back and extra points mm -hmm. took that away from you? Talk about the mentality of the team. I mean, uh, it was just—it was a mixture of things. I say that we just talked about it being gritty. We're going to get everybody's best shot. We have heard that all season, and not once has anyone rolled over against us. Nobody. And so our biggest thing was just being comfortable, being point for point, being gritty, and just being ready to make a play after they make one. Becca, thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you. Becca Alec with a new season high, 12 kills, three errors, 19 swings. She hit 474, and the middles really stepped up tonight. Absolutely got them in the mix. Andy Jackson had a great game as well in the middle getting up. She had nine kills on 11 swings, hitting 818. So really production from that middle today.
Joined now by the head coach, Sean Cook. Well, talk about the mentality going into the fourth coach when they came back in the third. What did you say to him? Uh, I just said we're in a, we're in a battle, and I told him before it's probably going to come down to a couple two-point games and uh, uh, before we started the match, and it certainly did. And uh, You know, you got to give credit, Illinois, Illinois credit. They stepped it up. They started making some great plays. They were hitting off our block. There's not much we could do about it. They're serving us really tough, and uh, you know, we're lucky to find a way to win that game four. Talk about serving tough, uh, re uh, season best 10 service aces for Nebraska. Talk about, you said we've been focusing on that training, but it's translated in the match today. Yes, yeah, it has. And uh, I, I've been sensing our serving has been getting better every week. And uh, I didn't realize we had 10 aces. That's pretty good. How many errors do we have? That's what I always eight, look at. Eight. 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 Hey, eight. we'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Positive. Yeah, again, free, free runs us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the hustle from Laney Choboy. Boy, she got the crowd into it a couple of times. Yeah, both. Yeah, that was an unbelievable play. And then the one Harper made. And and when we win that, man, it's such a adrenaline rush for the crowd and our team. Uh, but those guys compete. They play hard. And, I, and uh, you know, they're, they're trying to will every point. Sometimes it doesn't go our way, but they're trying to will every point. In practice, you've got a whistle to blow. Did you feel like blowing the whistle before she ran out of the I, Both of them, I was screaming at it. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> but Lainey has... Yep. She, a no-stop, no-go. Yeah, you know? she doesn't understand. There's there's bleachers there and things like that. Harper, I could tell, was she was... Harper's good enough. She can go get it and dodge everything. She sees it. But Lainey is like... She's a tank tank going through there. <laughs> four matches left, coach, in the season. What's the focus over these last four? That's a great question. I got to think about it. Uh, you know, we'll be off tomorrow, and uh, we kind of had a weird schedule, and, and um, we gave them a lot of time off this week. Uh, but we got we to gotta start getting better in some areas, and uh, Illinois did a good job of exposing us. John, thanks for joining us. We All appreciate right. it. Thanks, thanks guys. Thanks for televising this. You betcha. That is John Cook.